Hi, this is Aya speaking to you now. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Negative Zero game, Nice, Chan, and the Box of Souls. I guess I'm probably not pronouncing that correct, but you know, uh, it's the best I got. Alright, uh, this was actually the first game in the lineup. And as such, it holds a special, special place in my heart. Right next to the... Oh, look, I finally did it. It's fine. Anyway, we start in this child with uh, our main character, Masami. She's going into the... Oh, I forgot where I said it was. Right. Anyway, she's looking for the box of souls. And she'll probably find it because, you know, this is where it is. Alright, so... Uh, the games, now this actually, I kind of forgot to cover this in the first game, but um, as this one may show and may also be noted in other games, the chests are colored differently depending on what's inside of them. Red chests are things that contain items, and blue chests are weapons and armor, and accessories, stuff like that. The green chests are filled with gold, obviously, because they're green. And along the way, through the various games, I have added different chests for different things, but mostly it follows the three color scheme pattern. Um, also in this game, one something I would have liked to have done in other games is a little thing after you beat the baddies, as you, you can probably see, it's going on a couple of times. You know, when you beat them, you, you say a little something. Like, oh, ooh, look, I won. Or, uh, you know, just different things for different characters. That's right, there's actually more characters in this game than just this one. Because this is a monster collection game. Based off of an idea that I thought would be interesting for a Pokemon story of all things. You'll see it when you get to the end and you go, oh, I think I probably know what he's talking about now. Or maybe you won't. Anyway, uh, let's see, it made the opening, which took me a while. Um, to date, this is the only game with an opening. I just haven't found a way to do it when I want to anymore, so I'm kind of... You know, when you make things, you want them to look a certain way. You have a certain aesthetic that you're aiming for. And sometimes, unfortunately, you have to veer away from that aesthetic. Most uh, most of the time, I've, I've looked at stuff and it's, then this looks good, but this is not exactly the way I want. So I'll save that for when I have the ability to make it the way I want. Um... Hopefully that will that will occur sometime. Anyway, this story is about Masami, who, with the Box of Souls, a magical box that allows you to capture enemy souls, put them in the box, and turn them into recreations of the creature that you just killed, and use it as your own to help you fight. I guess if you're lonely, you know things like that. Uh, this is also one of the first one, being the first game, this also has, uh, Instruct-chan and Promoti. Two characters that I made using another software system, Manga, Manga probably was the name. Anyway, so I made these, and, um, they were originally designed to play a video and it would explain how the game controls work. Later on, I, I switched computers and I lost the exact way they were set up. So I kind of decided not to use them you know, until I could figure out how I wanted them to actually be in there. Also, I kind of figured maybe what I would do is put the videos, make separate videos, and put them with the games. A kind of general how-to on things. Um, 
So far, I haven't gotten around to doing that quite yet. I know you've been listening to me and you're wondering, how does Io sound so nasally when he doesn't have a nose? You know, I think I should say, who can tell if he doesn't have a nose? It might be hidden by the fur. I'm assuming that is fur. Yes, it is fur. Uh, there are some other things for this child. What was that? Probably mispronounced that. Uh, we also introduced, I say we with me and my mind, but um, this is the first game to introduce lots of things, such as the relationship between fairies and cats. Now, fairies in this game can evolve. Uh, it's, I, I can't promote it in this game. It's how you advance a monster into a different type of monster. And fairies could promote into... A fairy could promote into one of four different elemental spirits depending on what you wanted it to be. Um, I've kind of taken that out. I guess I, I liked it. I guess I should have revisited it. And now I'm doing more along the lines of like there are different fairies in different climates. So you have might have a desert fairy or a wood fairy or a snow fairy and stuff like that. But fairies and cats, because as you who own cats know, uh, yeah, a cat would definitely chase a fairy. And it would probably bad at it and might even bite it once or twice. So I decided to put that in the game and kind of keep that as part of a running gag, if you will. Also in this game, let's see, uh, there's a character who, after I designed the character, became one of my favorites, one of, a character that I really kind of grew to like. Her name, and um, once again, I, well, I don't know if I can mispronounce this since I came up with her name. It's a Vivitune. Beavertune, however you want to say it, I'm sure she'd be fine with it. Uh, she's basically an angel trainee, angel cadet, because in this world there are these little things that no one really knows what they are, if they're actual souls going to be reborn as angels, or they're monsters, or what exactly they are, but they're angels in training, and if they do enough work, they'll become an angel, and then sometimes they can even become a goddess. Anyway, they all look alike, and they all dress alike, but this one that you add to your party, she's exceptionally good at healing, but she's exceptionally good at healing because she's also exceptionally good at falling. She's really, really clumsy, as all angel uh, trainees are, because... You know, that, that's kind of the joke is that they're not graceful. Anyway, so she's really, really good at this. And she, I don't know, it just kind of started to grow on me. I said, you know, I like this character and I think she's funny. I, I think what I've written for her is pretty funny. Also, if you play the game a little bit later on, you might get a mermaid. And um, if I can toot my own a little bit. I think the mermaid turned out pretty well, too. Uh, mermaids in my game are obsessed with sailor hats. And so, typically what they do is they lure sailors into the rocks, and then once the boat's sunk and all the sailors are swimming about, they go around and grab their hats and swim off. And, uh, well, I think it's funny. But, anyway... Let me tell you a little bit about the battle system for this game. You, um, as you can see, it's, it's traditional RPG. Uh, you, you stand on one side, you select whether or not you want to do attack or magic or special, and then you, if you have the appropriate amount of MP or uh, TP, then you, you do it.
it's one of well, it's my first game and um, I hope that it stands up to the test of time I hope that one day I hope to kind of make it look a little bit better the way I went about doing the souls and the way you get monster party members probably could be done a little bit easier um, if you have access to the code and you can look at certain things you will you'll note a lot of times what I end up doing is creating I suppose the illusion that this is what's going on when it's actually a bunch of code doing a bunch of different things to make it look nice and look right so you know if you know how to code and you can look at some of the stuff and these are all made by RPG maker so you'll be able to tell with the people who knew what they were doing put in there and what what I managed to fit in and I think you'll find it quite easy um, Anything else for the remainder? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, yes. This, in case you've you know, been wondering, I guess you've probably already figured out. This is a new um, segment. I guess you call it segment. This is a new thing I'm trying. So, because I realized that many of the people on Patreon who may be looking at my Patreon may need an example of what exactly I'm pushing, <laughs> what I'm promoting, and it would be easy for, for me to simply sit back and tell a little bit about each game. Uh, this is the first one I've done. Obviously, if it's not any good, I'll try to make it better, but as it stands, my plan is to do one of these for each game and then to do one, do one of these four games coming up and even maybe possibly move on to other topics and segments such as which of these visual novel makers do I think is the best for someone who has no idea what they're doing various things like that and in case this voice is uh, getting to you I'll be happy to let you know that the Hoot Nanny have you ever if you've ever heard him speak will actually be voicing a few of the episodes or depending on if I get enough feedback that says good God what have you done he'll be voicing the rest of the episodes Anyway, I think we're about up for the uh, video, so I'll kind of end it early here, and I'll let you enjoy finishing watching the, the rest of the, the gameplay, and I'll see you next time then. Bye, and thank you for watching.
Thank you.